It has come to my attention that fans of the serfs have created a Facebook group in order to coordinate trying to deplatform me over various accusations which were made in the serfs video about me, which are completely false, and many of them misrepresent things that I've actually said. Now I'm going to give the serfs the benefit of the doubt and that they're not actually leading this in trying to get other leftists deplatformed, but I certainly have my suspicions. As usual, they're taking the opportunity to slander anyone who doesn't like them, anyone who doesn't agree with them. Thus far, in every attempt the serfs have made to attack me, they've resorted primarily to calling me names, misrepresenting things that I have said, or attack me for things that, for positions, that I don't hold. And the same reason, they refuse to actually debate me if they've actually got a problem. Now, one of the things that they did was misrepresent my video about Peter Coffin. I was not defending Peter Coffin's position on anything whatsoever. I was merely saying that if somebody didn't like what Peter Coffin was saying, come up with a rational argument rather than just resort to harassment and name calling, which is something that I have already criticized the serfs in the past for doing. They don't come up with rational arguments. They just insult people and think that's doing work. Now, I think it's very funny that they would accuse me of being the white leftist when, literally speaking, my anti-colonialism series is better than everything the serfs has ever done combined. You know, it's kind of hard to claim that the person who supports, you know, anti-colonialism or decolonialism is the white leftist, given that this kind of of subject, anti-colonialism, decolonialism, is something that the serfs themselves, who are white, never touch. So it's rather ironic that they would make that kind of argument. Now, I could point to other things, such as the glowing support that I have received from, you know, former high-ranking Black Panther member Steve Struggle, but that would be like pulling out your token black friend, something that the serfs wouldn't even be able to do. Now, it's interesting that the crowd of these types of people, the Vosh viewers, the Destiny viewers, the, the Surfs viewers, spend so much time trying to take down other leftists that they don't really put any effort into trying to take down people who are actually homophobic, who are actually transphobic, like Steven Crowder. Steven Crowder's channel, uh, his history of, of just about basically everything he's ever said, there is a tremendous amount of homophobia and transphobia in his statements, in his videos, in his actual positions. Yet they dedicate no effort whatsoever to trying to get rid of someone who's so overtly ex-phobic that they focus their attention on someone like me who is actually none of these things. It's just that I've called up many of the people on their liberalism. And that is something that I have done. The bread tube type radlibs who like to pretend to be socialists, who pretend to be leftists like the serfs. So I leave this message to the people who are organizing against me, and I'm sure the serfs themselves have absolutely nothing to do with it. I was here long before you, and I will be here long after you. I am the OG at this. There was only one person who was here before me, and that was Brendan Cooney, and he's disappeared off the face of the earth. So just remember that I have been here through 12 years, being called much worse by much better people than yourselves. And thus far, none of you have been able to take me down, and none of you have ever been able to rationally debate like an adult. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.